morning guys um today is september 7 and today if you guys don't know yet my husband made a crank so they have today pride day and i'm taking you guys with us i have to prepare real soon because i have to drive all the way there and it's actually in kadina so yeah and I just wanted you to I just wanted to share this product that I've been using that helped whiten my underarm. I used to suffer no my underarm wasn't really like dark but it has those you know the follicles of the hair because I only shave it. But right now my a friend of good friend of mine recommended that I should epilate with which I've been doing. It hurts because it pulls the hair out but ever since then see my underarm is not that dark and i went home to philippines yes i think it was july yeah july no june june i know i didn't vlog about it i just wanted to go through with the stuff to bring my son here that's why i didn't vlog and i got this a1 filling fresh for in one widening and it has actually helped to whiten my underarm like this is only 75 pesos it's near in our house they were selling it if i only knew i could have bought more but it's whatever i guess i have to find someone who's going home i'm looking for that in amazon just in case i run out but they weren't selling it and right now they said this is the number one in cosmet japan it's like maybe number one if it's in the states it's like allure cosme something like that so i don't know one thing i hate about this this is only good during winter but if you if you use it during summer well the nice thing about if you use this during summer it's liquid so it doesn't feel all sticky at all but if you use this one during summer it tends to make your skin dry because of the humidity so i think i prefer this using over winter but right now i'm just trying to go through with everything that i got so ow yep anyways i'm done changing now i'm just gonna be doing my makeup real quick i think i really like this one the anessa perfect smooth it's me mist i've been loving it it gives my face a glow whenever i try using it and i just let it sink in and I'm going to be using a lip balm, of course. But before that, it was wrong. I should take a sunscreen first before putting that mist. But oh well, here I'm using this one. The Maxi Peel Sun Protection Cream. I really like this one, but it has only SPF 20. And if it's like SPF 50, this would be perfect. But so far, I've been loving it. It makes my makeup real smooth too. It's like um, moisture rocher and sunscreen in one. So, and it's really actually pretty cheap too. You know, so I'm not gonna be doing any like harsh makeup. I'm just gonna be doing a light one. And yeah, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Super BB Moist Matte. I don't think we have it this one in the States. I think this is only exclusive in here in Japan. But I love this. It has a really good coverage for a BB cream, and it actually pretty smells good. So the downside is they only have like two shades of this, but overall, I think. It's perfect for a BB cream. Has a good coverage. Has a good SPF as well. This has like SPF 24. PA++. So I like that. But it's, for me, it's a little bit pricey. It's like 1,200 yen. Roughly like 12 bucks. So, man, what do you expect? Anything here in Japan is expensive anyways. But so far, I like this foundation. And just need to conceal all those blends that I have right here. Mm -hmm. My blushes are all like my up. Hey guys, I was just done doing my makeup. I decided to change because I don't feel comfy. Anyways, 
Um, I'm done doing my makeup. It's just a minimal makeup. I just use this. Can make. I've been loving this one. The Can Make Matte Gloss. It adds pop of color to my eyes. And right now, this is just what I'm wearing right now. Just this top that I got from H&M. This one is only like 400 yen or 200 pesos. I didn't buy it. When I was in the Philippines, I didn't buy any clothes there because I find it expensive. Here in Japan, they do a lot of sale. Like seriously, that's why I even if I went to Tai Tai, I never bought any clothes there because I find it expensive. Like 350 pesos is like 7 bucks, which in here in Forever 21, you can buy buy one get one free you know for that price range and sometimes it's like 200 pesos buy one get one free so for just for the pants just these regular pants that i had for a long time now and yeah i'll probably be leaving here like around eight and i'm getting hungry but I'm going to be using this cologne. No, perfume. I got this perfume, by the way. This one is Chloe. And oh my god, I found this in clearance section of exchange. And this one normally costs about $100. And guess how much I just got it? $25. Like, that's like 75% off. Which I'm so happy about of this purchase because can you imagine hundred dollars? I think this one ranges from one hundred one dollars and then I got it in the clearance rack for twenty five dollars. So goodbye. I'm not really a fan of like perfumes, but just for the sake of the sale and the discount that I was getting, so I was like, hmm, why not? You know, that's like such a good deal and for a chloe which is like a hundred dollars hell yeah and i didn't really like this setting spray from cover fx this is the illuminating setting spray first of all this spray feels so effing weird like oh what the heck i wanted like a lot like it's like it seems like i'm bathing on a spray that's how i feel like it like it seems like i'm washing my face off whenever i try doing a setting spray but so far i didn't really like this this is i i mean i got it in boxy charm anyways way back then and yeah for lipstick i'm just being using this cat Von d in the shade of i think this is my lolita yeah in the shade of shade of lolita <laughs>
exhale.
Take it down.